two Pasco County homes are on the edge of a big problem tonight. You got a large sinkhole there that's opened up under the homes in an area where sinkholes have been found before. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson is joining us live. He is outside of the River Ridge subdivision. Oh boy, Jeff, here we go again. Yeah, Keith, I want to make it clear. The county is just calling this a depression. They say it's going to be up to a geotechnical engineer to declare it's a sinkhole. But here's the problem. That depression, whatever you want to call it, is on the other side of this chain link fence behind these homes in a gated private community. So the county says it will be up to the private homeowners to get it fixed. Check out this video from Eagle 8 HD. It shows a large depression between two homes. Pasco County officials are being careful not to call it a sinkhole at this point, but they say it's up to the homeowners to figure out what caused the problem. This is not a county problem. This is all 100% on private property. This is video taken at the scene by Pasco County Fire Rescue. The county has tagged the homes as no longer safe to occupy and says it will be up to the homeowner and their insurance company about how to proceed. There is nothing that uh, county emergency services um, are doing at this point. Um, we are very, you know, the emergency response, if you will, is over. But the Pasco County Property Appraiser website does show sinkhole activity in the neighborhood before, and that's a concern to people who live here. Matters as far as your property values, yeah, but uh, as far as it, my house going, I don't, I'm not too concerned about it, no. Yeah, the county tells us those homes are still structurally sound, no problems with cracks, no problems with doors or windows. They just happen to have a really large void under them. In Pasco County, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.